Happy New Year. In this video, I'm going to briefly give a rundown of what endocrine disrupting chemicals are and how detrimental they are to the human body, actually also animals. And as the name suggests, these chemicals disrupt the endocrine system, which is responsible for the regulation of hormones in the body, which if hormone regulation is off, it can cause all sorts of problems, you know, from low energy to obesity and just unbalanced levels of estrogen and testosterone in males and females and all kinds of things which in the long run could be actually deadly when combined with other uh, environmental toxins and other factors. So when we when we use laundry detergents or dishwasher detergents we don't often think of these as unnecessary things because we think oh it's necessary without realizing that actually the best cleaners are the cheapest and actually derived from natural um, ingredients for example baking soda and vinegar just like the science experiments we did in middle school baking soda and vinegar for clothing uh, for dishes that's pretty much all I use and everything is always sparkling clean except that I don't get that smell which now I can't stand of Tide or of all these uh, detergents which are actually extremely toxic and now there's a lot of research and data available on this where there's not really any mystery about it. It's now known the negative effect that endocrine disrupting chemicals have on the human body. So I would just say it, we could control certain things and we can't control others. It's often we hear that defeatist viewpoint of, oh, well, everything's toxic. Why would I even bother? Well, why you'd bother if you want to you know, increase your health and your vitality without relying on pills and surgeries and whatever else which the medical system is trying to prescribe to you, which can often make you sicker and worse off, then if you don't want to rely on that, why wouldn't you look to discover things that are outside of that system that are extremely low cost and extremely healthy that decrease your dependence on those systems, number one, and more importantly, number two, are actually healthier than anything you could get, which would break, also tends to break the bank and over time is ineffective. So it's, it's all about reducing environmental exposures. There are certain things we can't control, right? There's pharmaceuticals in the water but then we can use filters um, there's all kinds of pesticides even on organic stuff in the food so we have to be um, in, intentional about what we consume and uh, where we source it from and understanding to the best of our ability where it comes from so reducing the our exposure to endocrine disruptors is just a very it's probably the most direct easiest way to, to, to reduce exposure to environmental toxins, which in the end, an overload of them, so many of them that the system can't process it, leads to all kinds of bad things, which on a cellular level can cause the replication of, of damaged cells, which then causes cancer, which then can kill you. So endocrine disruptors in 2024, Keep your eye out on that, and uh, if you're interested in having better health and doing it in pretty simple steps where you not only save money, um, but you improve the efficiency of your day-to-day -day life, just cut out laundry detergents, cut out the dishwasher detergents, use, I mean, they even make ones that are natural. I, I've seen those too. So if you want, you can buy those. But literally, apple cider vinegar, baking soda are miracle um, miracle ingredients. And look it up. Do the, don't believe me. Do the research yourself. But it's all there for you to uh, discover. And 
increase your health. So again, happy new year. And uh, I will see you in the next video.